Hiya, my name is Hannah Murphy and I'm the course leader for the UAL Foundation Diploma in Art and Design. The UAL Art Foundation Diploma course is a fantastic year that students will choose to study after they have completed their Level 3 courses such as A-Levels or BTEC Diploma, Extended Diploma. The course is one year intensive, high energy and um, passionate year for students to really invest in their own future. So as a year 14 student, they are buying themselves time to really critically think about the decision making, really invest time in thinking about what might come next for them, HE or employment. The Foundation Diploma is run with UAL as an awarding body. The University Arts London, for those that may not know, is a body of really prestigious London colleges, names that I'm sure you'll be aware of, such as Central St Martins, Camberwell College of Art, London College of Fashion, etc. This partnership is absolutely wonderful for our students. It really is a win-win situation. Staff and students alike benefit from cutting edge, you know, um, advice, leading advice from sort of industry professionals. The course has been designed with a bank of knowledge from these leading professionals and its structure is absolutely wonderful for our students. It's streamlined, it's intensive, it is really student focused. The partnership with UAL means that we have really lovely links and support networks with London colleges, but it doesn't mean that our students have to apply there. So although year after year our students will apply to those colleges, there is absolutely nothing stopping our students from applying to any university institution up and down the country. And the range and the diversity that students go on to do is absolutely fantastic. The programme is delivered over a period of about nine to ten months and the students will have opportunity to really explore a broad range of materials, media and processes. It is 100% coursework, students are in full time and they are working in a, in a creative environment in our Art Foundation studios. The group itself develops, establishes really, really quickly into a really lovely, supporting, caring environment where students are with like-minded individuals, possibly for the first time. They're in an entire cohort of students who are all focused on a creative pathway. They're all interested in the creative arts as a career and the support, the enthusiasm, it builds up really, really speedily and it's an absolutely wonderful environment for students to be creative and productive in. Year after year, our students feed back um, really lovely comments and it's really clear to see just how valuable and how enjoyable they found their time um, with us on the Art Foundation course. Lots of students do comment on that it's been the most sort of pivotal, the most informative um, decision making process of their education to date. The course is delivered by um, a range of staff each year and that is changing so we like to sort of freshen up who's involved in the course. Every member of staff who's involved, usually a team of three or four individuals, brings to the course different areas of expertise, you know, different personal passions and interests of theirs, different experience in industry and the whole idea is that we understand that our students are really diverse and for us to get the best out of them we need to have them engage with staff who think differently, who can bring different different skills to the table, different subject knowledge and really get the students to kind of flourish and come into their own. Students arrive on the course with varying degrees of certainty about where they might end up. Some students will join us really confident that they know exactly what they want to go on and do after they've left college and they've got really clear career plans, they might have even picked out the exact university course that they want to go on to progress to. And that's wonderful, you know, amazing. Our job then is to encourage those students to work with them individually, to get them to be the very best that they can be so that they're ready for that HE experience and that they have the most professional, most all-rounded, most you know, skillful body of work that will hold them in good stead when they start. Some students will join us really open-minded or a little uncertain about the opportunities that might kind of arise during the course and where they may end up and that's a lovely challenge of a different sort of nature. The course is very diagnostic so we will explore a wide variety of materials, processes and techniques. Our job is to figure out and with the student which areas are particularly interesting for them, where they've got particular strengths and as the year progresses we go almost like a funnel, it, it begins very broad, we encourage our students term by term to make more specialist decisions, more confident decisions in the way they want to work, what they want to work with, why they're producing work and each term we're encouraging students to 
think more independently, be more confident in their own decisions. And again, it's that preparation for whatever comes next, HE study or even employment, work placement, etc. We're really, really proud of the achievements of our students who finish with us on the Art Foundation course. And we're also really proud of the college itself. We are lucky enough to have two designated studio spaces for all of our students to work in. So learners will be together in a really positive, really productive environment for the full week that they are in college. The environment itself is a shared space. So we are enabling our learners to develop, to get ready for that kind of HE experience and kind of bouncing ideas off each other, working with more autonomy than they have perhaps at A-level years. We have designated personal tutoring that takes place. So our students will be guided and mentored specifically one-to-one -to, -one to make those really informed decisions for university, HE planning, um, employment, job, gap year, whatever might come next for them. Another real positive here at college is that we have a relatively small cohort when that is compared to HE settings that might offer an art foundation. We don't underestimate for a second the importance of that, knowing our students really well, understanding what makes them tick, having the crucial time to work with them and invest that time into their future, whether that's the, the subject that they're working on right now, the sketchbook like now, or whether it's long-term planning, we have that ability to foster those relationships and serve our students really, really well. Hi, I'm Dan Horn. Um, I'm a graphic specialist teacher on the Foundation Art and Design course and I'm just going to talk to you about a, a quick breakdown of uh, the structure and the core units of the course. These core components uh, are delivered across three terms uh, and three different units. The first unit is the diagnostic unit where you kind of introduce to lots of small little projects and all the different areas that we study uh, on the Foundation course. Uh, the specialist unit is an area where you'll be given a much more extended brief into the area that you've chosen to go into. Uh, so this might be within your core units uh, and components of things like fine art, graphics, textiles or 3D. Um, but again, you can kind of merge and drift between all those areas which we really encourage you to do uh, throughout the whole year. The third unit uh, and the final one is probably the most important one for you in terms it gives you the opportunity to go into your own specialist area uh, and really develop a body of work and a portfolio that will help you with progression and also give you an insight into uh, preparing for an end of year show uh, and a final body of work uh, of a, a kind of detail and a kind of importance to yourself. This project is driven by you, it's written by you uh, and it's really encouraging all your independent learning throughout that process. The Foundation course provides you with uh, the portfolio that will hopefully get into a wide range uh, of different courses after this particular year. So the progression is really, really important. Uh, the courses that students have gone on to can be very wide and varied, uh, and they can include traditional ones like fine art, graphic design, could be textiles, could be fashion. They can also go into things like animation. Uh, we'll also help you build portfolios towards architecture, maybe interior design, uh, a whole range of other subjects based around digital media that could be leading into things like games design or sort of multimedia uh, kind of courses as well. A real strength of the course is what students then go on, go on to at the end of their year. So um, they might start off thinking, or you might start off thinking you want to go into uh, architecture or you might go into graphic design, but often you can come out and go into a, a whole new area that you haven't considered. So a lot of students start off on a conventional path and then might find themselves applying to quite diverse subjects such as jewellery or kind of theatre design uh, as a range of courses um, based on the body of work they produce throughout the year. Hope you've got all the information that you need. Uh, if you need any further help or support or guidance on choosing this course, please don't hesitate to get in contact.